Hello everyone. Welcome to the training session of Kodeva 2022. I welcome you all. A very good evening to all of you. So we will be starting soon in another two, three minutes. So I request all of you to please share the joining link with all of your friends and your fellow classmates and ask them to join. And if any teacher have joined this session, I request the teacher to please share this YouTube live link with your students because these training sessions are, uh, are focused on students only. So yeah, I request you to please share it with all your students. And if, yeah, you can also stay and take the session as well. No problem in that. But these sessions are mostly uh, for students only. Hi, Savita. Hi, everyone. So we will be starting in another two minutes. I request all of you to share the link with your fellow classmates your friends, and ask them to join. Hi, Javik. Very good evening to all of you. Yes, Savita, you can ask me a question. Please go ahead. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. So we will be starting very shortly. I request all of you to share the meeting link with your friends and ask them to join the meeting. So Savita is asked, uh, has asked that, is it important to use extension in our project? Well, if you want your project to be innovative, if you want your project to do something, to enact, then you can use extensions. But if you want to make a simple project, you can do that too. Yeah, your teacher can join too, no problem. Jana, your teacher can join too. Good evening, Rajni. So one thing is this, that, so all of you must be knowing that it is an international level competition, right? So in international level competition, you will be competing not just with, you know, the students or like in India, but you will be competing with students from 90 plus countries. So the level of the competition will be very high. So I would suggest if you can, you know, if I would, uh, if I were you, I would be using the extensions in PictoBlocks to make my project look more appealing. It's not a Zoom meeting, it's just a YouTube live, so there is no Zoom link. Okay, so yeah, let's begin with today's session. So in today's session, I will be introducing you guys to machine learning. So machine learning is one of the most trendiest topic or, or shall I say subtopic of artificial intelligence. Machine learning is used everywhere in your devices in mobile phones. And yeah, it is just, you know, making the machine learn something and give you the desired output according to this environment. So the machine will study the environment, get the data, train that data and give you the desired output of that data. So yeah, in simple Lazman language, you can say that that is the machine learning. Okay, so I request all of you to join the Telegram group. If you haven't joined the Telegram group, you can join it from the QR code or the link in the chat box so you can click on the link in the chat box so we knew the link in the chat box is working we have checked it thrice so please check it if you are not able to do it uh 
from the link. If you're not able to join from the link, you can scan the QR code on the screen. So we have given you two options to click on the link and join the Telegram group or scan the QR code. All right, moving forward. So I'm going to play a little video which will be giving you an overview of Codevo 2022 International Competition, which is one of the biggest AN coding competition internationally, or I shall I say globally. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to play this video. I request all of you to watch this video and try to understand all the things about Codevo. Thank you. For the fourth consecutive year, bringing you the biggest international AI and programming competition for kids, Codeva 2022 International 4th Edition. To make kids aware and inspire them to brainstorm over emerging issues, to make the world a better place, kids need to build solution-based projects on the following theme. Save the environment. Strengthen the health infrastructure. Revolutionize the agriculture. Automate the surroundings. Make smart transportation system. You can make anything and everything you want. From stories to games. From software based AI projects to hardware based projects. Pictoblocks, an international AI education and coding platform. You can learn to code. Make interactive animations and games, interesting projects based on AI, program actions for robots and much more. With Pictoblocks app now available on Play Store, you can even make your project for the competition on the go. Anyone above 7 years old and falling under 3 age groups can. Yes, you can either participate as a one-person army or in a team of two with your coding buddy. Follow these three easy steps to participate. Register by entering the team details on the contest portal. Prepare to enhance your coding and AI skill via self-learning material and AI boot camps. Now that you have the skills required, it's time to show the world what you have got. Submit your project brief, project file and the project video. Now all you have to do is sit back and wait for the results. Registration for Codeva 2022 International starts on 10th of October. The last date to submit your project is 10th January 2023. You can register anytime between 10th of October and 10th of January 2023. The winners of Codeva 2022 International will be announced on 31st January 2023. Participants stand a chance to win more than 60 prizes worth $20,000 in total. Along with the cash prizes up to $1,000, all the winners will also receive a medal, certificate and the official Codeva 2022 AI t-shirt. Participate in the biggest online AI and programming competition for kids with more than 3 lakh plus participants, 1000 plus schools, 1 lakh plus teams from 90 plus countries. So, what are you waiting for? Registration starts today. So, I hope all of you were able to get an overview of Codevo 2022 one of the biggest AN coding competition. Moving forward with today's session, so let's come to machine learning. So first of all, we will be looking at what exactly machine learning is. So as I've given you an overview of what machine learning is in a uh, layman's language, that you know, teaching a machine, giving the data to the machine and telling the machine how to train that data so that we can get the desired output and i've all, all already talked about that machine learning is one of the um trendiest sub field of 
artificial intelligence so the reasons for you know machine learning being in trend these days is because the high amount of data is being produced so a lot of data is produced whenever you are working in a company or working with an uh, with an organization working with an international company right so you have a lot of data that has to be produced right google have a really big data big data centers microsoft um, earlier this year microsoft or i guess uh, um, in the ending of the last year microsoft were using the underwater data center so they were storing the data underwater because the heating issues that is why they were storing the data under the water they had underwater data centers as well so a lot of data is being produced then another reason for machine learning being one of the most hot topic of ai is that the increase of computation power machine learning helps you to increase the computation power in such a way that you know you are able to execute the task very effortlessly and you get the output as you want so suppose if i want to calculate the marks of all the students in india and i want to uh, you know check out the growth rate that how the students are you know learning and increasing their capacity and making india the smart country that we always want it to be so how i can check it that using machine learning algorithms i can make an algorithm to check to take the data of all the students around the um indian states then i can compute that data i can manipulate that data i can train that data in such a way that i get my desired output then another reason is that the development of better algorithms as i've already discussed that algorithms are the most important part nowadays because because of algorithm the systems that we are using now are much more functional easy to use and the time they take to run a single command is 10% lesser or 10 times lesser than it was it used to be 10 years back so 10 years back a computer used to take a lot of time to load or to even restart but now it takes it few seconds to start few seconds to run any command whether it be coding whether it be mathematical equation whether it be scientific equation it takes very less time and you can do everything effortless uh, effortlessly so that is the reason these are the three major reasons that we are using machine learning and these are the three major re reasons why machine learning is called as one of the hot topic of artificial intelligence now moving forward as i've already told you that machine learning is the subfield of artificial intelligence right so machine learning also has subfields inside it so you have types of machine learning which we'll be talking about further in, in this session then we also have another sub topic that is very trending these days that is deep learning deep learning is a topic that is very trendy these days deep learning is like you know is like a class of machine in which the machine is learning algorithms that are inspired by human brain that is deep learning we are not going in deep learning concepts right now but we are focus on machine learning but i was just giving an overview what deep learning is and deep learning is one of the trendiest sub field of machine learning so it's like a chart that ai consists of machine learning you can denote it with ml and machine learning consists of deep learning you can denote it with dl right okay okay so i hope that is clear to all of you moving forward with the session ml algorithms so in machine learning we have algorithms that we use to train the data these algorithms help me to solve the problem and get the desired output these algorithm help me to 
you know learn uh, or help i actually i would say help the computer to learn from the data that is being provided to it and using the statistical analysis and modeling approach that computer will make its own set of rules like we do we also have our own set of rules schools have their own set of rules when you grow up earlier you were not allowed to eat, uh, earlier like when you were a kid like you were in play school or kindergarten you were allowed to eat whenever you were hungry but when you go in high school there is a specific time period that is called as lunch break that is when you are allowed to eat because you have been trained for many years so that you will be able to understand what is the difference between lunch break and study time same for computer this computer is also been trained for many years so that it understands how the computer have to manipulate and give you the data or give you the data or the information that you want so for that we have machine learning algorithms they are like step wise instructions so you make maggi there are step wise instructions though it says that it will be done in 2 minutes but is never done in 2 minutes that's a scam but still machine learning algorithms are step wise instructions that are programmed by us and used by the computers to solve a problem so if i want to calculate marks of all the students or calculate result of all the students of cbsc what i will do i will make algorithm that means give the computer step by step instructions that take the input of each subject of marks take the name of the student the father name the mother name school name school address school id and then calculate the percentage using the percentage formula so i'm giving the computer instructions means that i'm writing down the algorithm the computer is going to use that algorithm and going to solve the problem and give me all the output that i need so that is ml algorithms i hope that is clear to all of you moving forward types of machine learning so before coming to types of machine learning i will request all of you because these sessions are session that in which we give 100% our 100% i give my 100% rupa shimam give gives her 100% so i really want all of you to participate in these sessions and make it interactive in dao sessions there were a lot of you who were joining but you were not aware of what is going on so i want you to help your friends also to understand and to be on the same level because i really enjoy taking this session and i want you guys to enjoy it too and i hope you are enjoying back to the session types of machine learning we were talking about so types of machine learning there are three types of machine learning first is supervised second is unsupervised and third is reinforcement so we will be talking about all three of them in brief we are not going to go in their depth because in depth there are kind of um i would say like a warm hole because they will just take you in and there is no way out they are very interesting concepts i have uh, i have gone through all these concept in very depth but today we are going to give you a brief only because that is what your age group requires right now okay coming to the supervised learning so supervised learning so whenever you are giving the data to the computer but that data is labeled data that means that the data is tagged that is supervised learning supervised le learning means whenever suppose i'm giving data of 100 students to the computer and i i'm giving the data labeled that means vivek verma his marks rupashree her marks jaivik his marks 
एटी स्क्वाड हिज मार्क्स जना हर मार्क्स राइट आई एम गिविंग दी डेटा लाइक दैट एंड आई एम आई हैव लेबल्ड इट आई हैव गिविंग दी नेम ऑफ ई स्टूडेंट विद देयर मार्क्स एंड दैट डेटा आई एम गिविंग इट टू दी कंप्यूटर that data that computer is going to manipulate and give me the percentage with each of them or their name with their percentage so suppose vivek verma 90% ruparshi ma'am 95% at score 97% so that is how supervised learning works you have to give label data to the computer to get the desired output just like over here we have example we have labeled data we are giving the computer labeled data we are giving it three apples three strawberries and then we are training the data and we are getting the desired output one is apple one is strawberry so whenever i will show the apple to the computer it will say that it is falling under the apple category of or apple class whenever i will show strawberry it will say it is falling under the strawberry class so that is how machine learns with label data and that is called as supervised learning okay moving forward i hope this is clear to all of you if any question i will be taking them at the last of the session okay unsupervised learning so unsupervised learning is this that you give the data to the computer but that is not labeled suppose i am telling the computer to differentiate between crocodile and alligator so the computer will take up thousands of images of crocodile and alligator and then it will train itself it will find out the differences that okay the alligator is like you know this shaped mouth the crocodile is this shaped mouth their legs are this big they can go reach up to this much height up to this much tons of weight so what i am giving i am giving unlabeled data and i am asking it to train it itself i am asking the computer to train the data itself i am just giving it thousands of images of crocodiles and um, alligators they are mixed up together so it will train the data and it will classify two classes one will be uh, alligator and one will be crocodile same over here you have an example we are giving the computer three shapes one is triangle one is like a 3d square one is a circle and all of them are mixed up you can see then we are running the algorithm we are training that data and the computer is giving us the desired output that is it is classifying the cluster of the raw data into the output that we want it is making three classes because we have three shapes so that is unsupervised learning when you are giving the computer unlabeled data that means i'm giving the computer of just marks of all the students not the names okay then moving forward we have reinforcement learning so reinforcement learning means whenever the computer is learning from itself learning from its mistake that is reinforcement learning suppose i am asking the computer to tell me the uh, you know the magnitude of the earthquake earthquake sorry uh, yeah uh, the magnitude of the earthquake that what is the magnitude of the earthquake so if the computer is going to tell me the exact magnitude as my machine like we have specific machines for uh, you know to calculate the magnitude of the earthquakes but we can use it with we can do it with uh, computers also so if the computer is giving me the desired output that i want the correct output then i will be come giving my computer some points or you can say i will be appreciating its work but somehow if the computer is giving me the incorrect magnitude of the earthquake which is not match matching the magnitude of the earthquake uh, that has been calculated by the specific device that we have then i will be deducting some points of my computer so it is like you guys why 
sub so, is it is like us the reason is this that we were learning in class we learned something we learned you know a chapter and the teacher asked us some questions from that chapter we answered but we were not giving the desired answer that the teacher wanted so she will give us less marks but somehow in the next question i am giving my 100% and i gave her the desired answer that she was she was wanting then i then she will be rewarding me with full marks that is also reinforcement learning so that is the example of reinforcement learning okay over here also we have given you an, an example that a robot is trying to understand between uh, understand difference between the environment on fire and the water so if the uh, the agent that we have named the robot over here if the agent is going directly under the in the fire we will duck 50 points and we will tell him that it is bad and ask him to avoid it next time that is what teachers do whenever we score less marks teacher what they do they tell us that study next time do hard work next time i want you to score full next time same we will do to the computer we will change the algorithms and we will ask the computer not to do that thing again so again computer will fall into the same kind of a situation then agent robot will understand okay i, I won't i don't have to go in the fire i will go get the water and extinguish the fire and then i will be rewarded 50 points so this is reinforcement learning i hope all the concepts are clear to all of you uh i'm sorry sir would you mind real explaining the reinforcement uh learning yeah sure i will just a second so reinforcement learning is when it's a type of a learning where the machine learns itself you will write the algorithm the machine will learn from itself just like we humans learn how to write how to code how to read how to speak throughout the intervals of time earlier when we were like a toddler we were not able to read big words like minimizing reinforcement dynamic programming it used uh, it used to take us a lot of time right but when we were teaching uh, we were when we were not teaching sorry when we were taught through these years we learn how to say those words correctly how to eat properly how to sit properly how to walk properly that is reinforcement learning example what training the computer you are giving the instructions to the computer the computer will train itself just like mars rover mars rover in mars so what it is doing it is going out in all the places mapping the whole mars and it is learning that okay this is the cave here in the mars this is where i will bump this is a big rock i cannot cross it so it is learning itself and it is changing the algorithm itself so that is reinforcement learning i hope that is clear to all of you we will be making a project with pictoblocks i hope this concept is clear to all of you the reinforcement learning unsupervised learning and supervised learning okay then moving forward i request all of you to download pictoblocks application if you haven't because before moving forward with the activity i want all of you to have pictoblocks in your device so if you are not able to download it um from this um the links that are given in the chat box you can directly go on the website you can directly type download pictoblocks on your web browser you can click on the first link that is by thestempedia.com and you can select your device type windows mac os linux android ios 
and download the PictoBlocks application. Okay. All right. I hope that is clear to all of you. Now moving to the activity. So in today's session, we are going to make the activity of a traffic police. So it's a traffic police activity. So what we are going to do is we are going to get, we are going to make an automatic traffic police, which will understand, which will train the model and understand the difference between a sleeping driver and an attentive driver and an attentive driver. Okay. So if a driver is sleeping while driving car, it will, uh, you know, make a loud noise. The sirens will go on and the robot, the police robot will say, wake up. Okay, that is what we are going to do. All right. So I request all of you to switch to PictoBlocks application and download it as soon as possible because that is where you have to make your projects and submit it. Okay. Now coming back to the PictoBlocks application. So what you have to do is on PictoBlocks, if you are downloading the latest version, you have to click on file. And you have to open the ML environment. Okay. Over here uh, in the four o'clock session, I've already done, we have already done this activity, but we are doing it again in English only. So what you have to do is you have to click on create new project, name it. So I'm going to name it traffic police. I'm going to give it name 7 p.m. Okay. And you can enter a project description if you want to. That is totally optional. But if you want to, you can. Waking up the sleeping driver. That is a project description. That is, I think, a suitable project description. So it is an image classification project. So you have to choose image classifier. You have to click on it. And then you have to click on create project. Now the project is being, uh, you know, you have to train the model at the samples and then you can create your project. So we have two classes. We want two classes only. So one class will be of sleeping driver and another class. Sorry. That will be sleeping driver. And this class will be not sleeping driver. Okay, so we have two options to add the image samples. One option is to upload the image that you have clicked earlier, or you can directly click the image. The image is here from clicking on this icon, the webcam. So I will suggest you doing this way only that I am doing because it's better because you have to click a lot of pictures so that your model is 100% accurate or close to 100% accurate. That is the suitable thing. Okay, so I will click on webcam. It will turn on my camera in just a few seconds because I was using Zoom, so it's going to take a little time. Select the camera. Yep. Yeah, there you go. So how is the driver sleepy? So we can train the model. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close my eyes and move my head here and there and just hold on record. Okay, that is what I'm going to do. Make sure your eyes are closed because if your eyes are not closed, then you won't be considered as, as a sleeping driver. Okay, so I'm going to close my eyes, put my mouse pointer on hold to record button and hold this. And then close my eyes and move my head. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Uh-uh. Give me just a second, guys.
I'm just reopening Pictoblox application because it was not running as administrator. Sir, I cannot understand Pictoblox. What is the reason that you cannot understand Pictoblox? Sir, can you please link? Links are there. The links of Pictoblox application are there. Rupa Shivam, can you please share it again? Yes. All right, I'm going to share my screen once again with all of you. Please be with me. Okay. So yeah, I'm again going to open the ML environment. Create a new project. Name the project as traffic, sorry. Please, 7 p.m. No need to name it 7 p.m. Because I already have a traffic police project, so I'm naming it traffic police 7 p.m. Okay, so we have two classes. Class number one is going to be sleeping. Class number two is going to be not sleeping. I will come to your doubts. Don't worry. Right now, I'm not on YouTube. I'm focused on the Pictoblox application. If you have any doubts, you can drop it after we are done with this activity. Okay. So please, please be with me. Okay. Let's just click on the webcam. opened let me see yeah it is recording now okay so i'm going to close my eyes move my head here and there like a sleeping driver do and then i will hold to record okay so it will click images continuously so eyes close and record just going to pause for a second so you have to load a lot of samples so it is better to upload it like this that i am doing okay and make sure that your the camera is focused on your eyes that are being closed okay so i'm going to just um lean a little forward and make sure that the camera is capturing the closed eyes and i'm going to record another done so 260 images, I guess that is enough. Okay, now not sleeping. Not sleeping means eyes are uh, eyes are open. So you are you have to make sure your eyes are open. You are not blinking while clicking the pictures. So what you can do is you can click one by one, taking some gap. Okay, all right. So if I want to blink, I will not record that part. I will blink. For some time and then I will record again. Make sure the eyes are open. All right, I'm just going to click a little more pictures that are focused on the eyes open. Done. So 260 images for each of the class. Okay. So now we have the 260 images for each of the class. One is for sleeping, one is for waking up. So uh, not sleeping. So what I will do is I will train the model. I will click on train model. So we have to wait for some time. So it's going to take some time to 
train the model. After that, I will test the model. Okay, then we will export it. So it is important to test the model before exporting is it is, you know, if your model is not working, not giving you the desired output, you can add more sample images into it. Okay. All right. So yeah, let's test it by the web camera. Look, the eyes are open and it is showing eyes are open. Eyes are closed. It is showing eyes are closed. Okay, I hope, I hope it is showing. I'm just opening my eyes a little bit. Yeah, it is showing. Okay, perfect. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to click on export model. And it's going to export the model on PictoBlocks. Yeah, you can download PictoBlocks in PC, not in PS, not in PlayStation. No, it's an app, not a game. Not a game. Yeah, I will come to um A. I will help you to download the PictoBlocks. Okay, so I'm going to tell you just one more thing. So if the PictoBlocks is not showing the Opal ML environment on the file menu, what you can do is you can click on these extensions and click on the machine learning environment over here so this is a new one if you can see you can just directly click, click on it okay it will take you to the ml environment and then you can click on open ml environment it will open the ml environment for you okay now coming back to the activity so what we want so um just give me a second Okay, yeah, I was just setting up my camera. Okay, so what we want to do is we want first thing to delete the Toby strike and to add a police officer. So we don't have a police officer. You can make your own if you want to, right? You have the choice, but I will be using this robot. So I can use this robot or I can change the type of robot from costume. So this time let us use the green one. Earlier in the seven or uh, 4 p.m. session, I was using the other one. So yeah, let's use this one. This one makes more sense because it has wheels on it, wheels on it. Okay, then I will be choosing a backdrop. Let's choose the night city because at night time a lot of drivers are tend to sleep while driving. So now all the code will be in will be done in the retro robot that we have added that the retro robot sprite. So what I will do is I want the camera to be turned on whenever I click on the green flag. So for that, I will use the when green flag is clicked, I want to turn on the camera. After that, I want the computer to analyze the image, right? That is what we want the computer to do to analyze the image until we stop the execution of the script. So for that, I will add a forever loop. In that forever loop, I will add analyze image from camera. Now, one thing that is main is you have to add transparency so that you can see the background. So you can add transparency and make it like 50 or you can increase it also if you want to. Okay. In this forever loop, we are analyzing image from web camera. We have to analyze image from web camera, not from stage. Now coming to the reason, because we are turning on the video on the stage with 50% transparency. So whenever we are turning the video with 50% transparency, you can see that though I'm able to see my eyes, but they are not as clear, right? They're not clearly visible on the stage. Therefore, you have to analyze image from web camera only. So make sure you do that. Okay. After this, I want it to check two conditions. First, if the uh, if you know the class seating class is identified from the camera, I want the uh, the sprite that is the retro robot to play a loud siren and say, "Please wake up." So for that, I will be using if condition. So if 
the class is identified as sleeping. So this block I will be using. If it is sleeping class, then what I want, I want the robot to say something and play a sound. So I can go in sounds and I can add a alert sound. Yeah, let's add. You can choose anyone that you want to, but um, okay, let's choose alert only. That is better. Okay, so. I will go in sounds and start sound sound alert. Okay. After this, I want the robot to say something, to speak something like I am speaking. So for that, I have to go in text. I have to go in extensions and choose the text to speech. And I want the robot to speak. <coughs> Sorry. Please wake up. Okay, and I can set the voice also if I want to. I can set the voice to anyone. Let's set the voice to joint and make it more funny if you want to. You can change the language also if you want. You can set the language to Hindi if you want it. You can set the language. Let's set the language to Hindi. Yeah, let's just test it out. Please wake up. So yeah, but it is saying please wake up. So. Let me just copy it, go in the Google Translator. And translate this text from English to Hindi. Kripya Jag Jao. That is what it's going to say. Okay, let's test it out. Kripya Jag Jao. Okay, I don't like this voice. So I'm going to change it back to Alto only. Kripya Jag Jao. Yes, that is better. Okay, but right now we are focused on English only. So I will be setting it back to English because this is session for purely in English. But I was just saying, I was just, you know, letting you know that you can add more blocks to make it more fun for you guys. You can set the language, you can set the voice as well. Let's add the message. Please wake up with an exclamation mark. Okay, so this is the condition for sleeping when the driver is sleeping but now coming to the condition of when driver is not sleeping so when driver is not sleeping but the driver is traveling at night so there are chances that driver will sleep so we will tell the driver to be careful so when the class is identified as not sleeping then we want it to say we don't want it to speak. We want it to say, please be careful while driving. Done. So this is the activity. I'm going to just give you a little overview how it, how it is. Whenever we click on the green flag, I want to turn on the video on stage with 0% or with 50% transparency. In an forever loop, I want to analyze image. And I want to check these two conditions. So if I'm if the driver is sleeping, it will play the alert sound and the sprite will speak. Please wake up. And if this condition is false, it will go to this condition and check if this uh, if the driver is not sleeping, then it will say, please be careful while driving. OK, just a careful message for the driver. OK, let's test it out. Let's click on the green flag. So my eyes are open right now. You can see it is just saying. Please be careful while driving. And if my eyes will be closed. Please wake up. Please wake up. Please wake up. Please wake up. So yeah, now you were able to understand that how this automatic or you can say uh, robot police works. Whenever the driver is sleeping, it will uh, play a loud siren sound and it will ask the driver to wake up. And whenever the driver is not sleeping, it will still ask the driver to be careful while driving. So yeah, I hope this activity is clear to all of you. Um, is it clear to all of you? Please let me know if you have any doubt in this activity. I'm looking forward for your doubts.
all right so yeah so rr gamer this is how you make project in picto blocks i hope that is clear to you now amazing fantastic guys great amazing so yeah no doubts so yeah that's um it for today's session i will be moving back to the lecture slides i request all of you to fill the attendance feedback form rr gamer um i have already told you this is how you make activities and projects in picture blocks can we make image yeah you can make image also how to submit he will be telling you in the doubt session don't worry so why do we need the video to be displayed on stage if you don't want the video to be displayed on stage you can decrease the transparency you can make it 100% transparent so yeah it won't be displayed on stage but i just wanted to show you that yeah this is how it works so it is used for smart transportation yes avet it is used for smart transportation uh yes crazy boy i can answer your question please let me know what your question is and i request all of you to please fill your attendance come feedback form the link is there in the chat box and the qr code is there on the screen you can scan it or you can click on the link as well it is a big project it is it is not a big project it is a very small project tomorrow is the doubt class renuka tomorrow we have doubt session at 4 to 5 and then another doubt session at 7 to 8 can last part if possible yeah i can repeat it no worries so um okay i'm just going to give you a little overview once again so in this activity what we are doing we are making a smart police robot or, or police robot whatever you want to call it whenever the green flag is clicked we are turning on the video with 50% transparency if you don't want your video to be displayed on the stage you can add 100% transparency because we are analyzing image from web camera not from stage that is the reason okay in a forever loop we are analyzing the image from web camera that means from the camera and the computer is going to analyze image not from the stage then we are adding two conditions so in forever loop we are adding two condition that means this condition will be checked until we stop the execution of the code and how to do it using the stop button so these two if condition what they say is the first if condition is if the class is identified sleeping so that means if the class of the image that is been analyzed by the computer if it is identified as sleeping that means if the driver is sleeping then the robot will play a alert sound and it will speak please wake up okay it it will uh, these these a set of statements will be only be executed when the driver is sleeping then moving to the next if part if this condition is false the robot will check this condition if the driver is not sleeping then still the robot will say please be careful while driving okay i'm going to run it again and you're going to see it please wake up so yeah this is how it works i hope it is clear to all of you how can we make an image on stage uh you can you can just directly click on paint and you can make your own image on stage don't worry guys if you have still any more doubts we will be having a doubt session tomorrow and we will be doing it all right thank you so much for joining this session i request all of you to please fill the feedback form and i will see you guys tomorrow in the doubt session bye bye